Hello. Today, I'm going to talk about cleansing your sinuses using a hydrogen peroxide nebulizer. This is a follow-up to a video that I recorded about two years ago and posted, and there have been many, many questions. There's also a big surprise that I'm saving for the end of the video, so I hope you watch the whole thing. Your sinuses are your body's air filter. Now, there are many things in the air that uh, your sinuses filter out. Dust, pollen, insect parts, mold spores, chemical fumes. These are toxic and not beneficial compounds that your sinuses uh, conveniently filter out so they don't make their way into your lungs. But a lot of people have issues going on with their sinuses. Your sinuses are actually a microbiome, meaning that there's an entire population of bacteria and other organisms living in your sinuses because it communicates to the outside world. So you can think of it as your second microbiome. And you don't want an overgrowth of unhealthy bacteria or fungal organisms in your sinuses because it can give you symptoms like allergies, headaches, brain fog, fatigue, these are all symptoms of unhealthy sinuses. So today, we're going to talk about how to use hydrogen peroxide in a nebulizer. Now, what's a nebulizer? A nebulizer is what people with asthma use to mist uh, salt water and medications and breathe it into their lungs. So you can get a nebulizer. This is a portable a uh, plug-in nebulizer. You want one with a plug. You don't want one that has batteries because you'll just burn through the batteries and it's not good for the environment. So you want one with a plug. It's under $100 on Amazon. I'll put a link below. People with asthma use a nebulizer, uh, a handheld nebulizer that they breathe in through their mouth, but that's not what you want. You want to use a mask. So you need to buy a nebulizer that plugs in and that has a mask so you can breathe into your nose. The second thing you need to get is food grade hydrogen peroxide, which you can order online. And you want to get 3%. 3% is exactly the same strength that is the hydrogen peroxide you get down the street in the pharmacy, except they put a lot of additives and chemicals to stabilize it in the pharmacy. Food grade hydrogen peroxide is pure pharmaceutical grade, and uh, that's what you need to order. Uh, it comes in different percentages. You don't want 10% or, or 20% because that, uh, that can burn you. So you want to get 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide, and I'll also put a link down below. The third and final thing that you need is what's called normal saline or sodium chloride. This is at exactly the same concentration as in your body, in your bloodstream. It doesn't need to be sterile. So you can get this on Amazon. It's dirt cheap. Those are the three things you need to order in order to properly perform this treatment. So how do we do it? Okay, so the most important thing is you need to know the ratio of normal saline to hydrogen peroxide, okay? But that is key. If you dilute it properly, when you breathe it into your sinuses, you should feel some tingling, not a uh, harsh burning, because then it's too concentrated, and not, you know, like it's just salt water. You wanna feel that tingling. Now, many people, when they start this treatment, they sneeze a lot and they have to blow their nose. And that's good because that's your sinuses flushing themselves out 
because really what you're doing with a, a microbiome like your sinuses, it's filled up with bacteria and other organisms. And what we're doing is we're going into essentially a garden of plants and we're pruning, we're pruning it back. We're making it pretty, we're making the garden healthier. That's essentially what this treatment does. But like I said, it's good for allergies, headaches, fatigue, brain fog. It's also part of the detoxifying programs that I put people on who have uh, chemical sensitivity, who may have had mold exposure or mold toxicity. So it's really good to uh, enhance and accelerate detoxification. So what is the proper ratio of normal saline salt water to food grade hydrogen peroxide to use for this treatment? Well, what I start out with is recommending four to one salt water to peroxide. And that's the starting dosage, the starting ratio. Like I said, that should give you just a little bit of tingling uh, and maybe help, help you to flush out your sinuses. After you've been doing that for a couple of weeks, you can go to three to one, which is stronger. Uh, three times normal saline, one part uh, hydrogen peroxide. So we're gonna do four to one just to show you how. So what I do is I use a shot glass and we're gonna fill it up. And then we're gonna put the four parts into another jar. So that's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. And you don't have to worry about uh, getting it on your skin. It's exactly the same strength as you get in the pharmacy. It's not gonna hurt you. Now, one of the most common questions that I've been asked in response to the first video I posted on this a couple of years ago is what kind of jar do I store it in and how do I store it? Because now I've got a whole jar full. It's already mixed up at the right concentration and I can use it in the nebulizer. So I use a plastic jar. Actually, uh, this used to have normal saline in it. Um, and I keep it in the refrigerator. Uh, when the refrigerator door is closed, it's dark. So 95% of the time, this is sitting in the dark and it's cold. And that keeps it fresh. So the next step is to use the nebulizer. So the mask is attached to the nebulizer, which is just an air pump. That's all it is. You take the mask off and there's a reservoir and you're gonna put a couple tablespoons of your four to one saline to peroxide mixture. You're gonna put that in the reservoir. And then usually there's a little, little doodad, little plastic piece that fits in the mask, I mean, in the reservoir, and that's gonna create the mist. So then you close, you put the mask back on the reservoir and uh, you turn it on. So hopefully you can see the mist that's coming out. That's exactly what you want. I'm gonna put it on uh, and you do it for eight to 10 minutes. Um, and I'll tell you when I'm done, I'll tell you how often you should do it like this. Okay, so after you've done it for eight to 10 minutes, you've uh, decreased the amount of unhealthy bacteria in your sinuses, you've killed off mold, you've uh, gotten the mucus to start flushing itself out. That's great, but you gotta do it regularly. Day, every other day, uh, three times a week at the very least. However, once your symptoms, once what you're treating is uh, in a good place, so your chronic sore throats have gone away, your allergies are better, you're thinking more clearly, when things are good, then you go to maintenance, which is uh, once or twice a week, 
But I guarantee you the air that's outside from pollution and car fumes and chemicals and even just cleaning your house of dust, uh, it gets lodged in your sinuses. And using uh, dilute hydrogen peroxide nebulizer treatment is one of the best things you can do to keep your sinuses fresh and healthy. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, reveal the surprise, which is I recorded this uh, originally two years ago. And as you can see on the screen, uh, I look different now. And hopefully one of me looks healthier. And one of the reasons I look healthier now is because back then, one of the reasons I needed to do hydrogen peroxide therapy was that I was living in an environment that was overgrown with mold. And I didn't know it at the time. All I knew was that I had a chronic sore throat and sinus congestion among lots of other weird symptoms. And so that got me to come up with the hydrogen peroxide nebulizer. Um, but that was two years ago. I've treated myself for mold toxicity. I've moved to a new house. And hopefully you can see the difference between somebody who is in a mold toxic environment and somebody who is now perfectly healthy. I hope this has been helpful. Please leave your comments below if you like it. Uh, subscribe, uh, give it a like. Stay tuned for more uh, videos on how to stay healthy and live the longest, healthiest lifespan possible.